Yeah, welcome back to part two of my attempt to write an adventure. Um, the last time, I think uh, it was more clear that it's not the size of a one-shot adventure or perhaps not a, a two-evening adventure. I think it's more the size of a perhaps campaign or um, a module with several subsections and adventures. So the basic idea the last time, and uh, you can watch the first video, um, I used um, random tables to generate a basic idea. And um, just for the plot, I had a, a own table, or have our own table, um, where I randomly created a theme, antagonist and a goal, stuff like this. And uh, this is um, what I use to just train this creativity process because <laughs> as a DM, I think uh, most of you know, you have to be spontaneous, you have to react. Uh, um, and train this um, dynamic ability to create and form the story with your players together. So. We had this um, basic outline, some information about the plot. It's a warring theme. Two once warring kingdoms. There are two religions, and so just basically a good religion and an evil religion. The evil religion tries to rise again and has some ideas uh, how to do this. And there's some sort of evil artifact that um, has to be used to spread havoc and spread evil. Then we have an intro. So the basic idea is um, PCs are traveling with a caravan, a good old guy, a caravan master, um, hired them in one city in the Western Kingdom with destination to the Eastern Kingdom, to the capital. You can throw a lot of own adventures and road encounters in there. But uh, then the, the first beginning, if you decide to kick in, there's this starting um, event, like a monastery is attacked somewhere, as uh, the caravan um, resides there in, in the near, uh, to a town there nearby a monastery and the PCs can choose to um, yeah, assist um, the militia there to help to fight against this attacking other soldiers. So they will find some clues that this weren't soldiers from um, this other kingdom and uh, more brigands with a letter and a name. Then we decided in the next scene or episode we can talk a little bit more about the travel because they have to progress and um, reach the destination. Some road encounters perhaps. And um, yeah, I just read it because I have to um, think there are. Yeah, the second is a town where the PCs can help a merchant who is accused for trading military weapons and armor. So his family is looking um, for adventures. So uh, the caravan comes here, gives them a reason that the caravan is staying a little bit longer. Perhaps it's winter or stuff like this, and there are some weeks or months even that they have to be there in this town. So they can help him out of prison. And they learn somehow that the name of the letter from the first starting theme is the same as the priest here in town. Hmm. Interesting. So the priest is accused, but later spells reveal that he did not do that. At this point, they, they learn some decades ago was an evil religion that was put down. 
We don't know exactly, exactly what. And then the next destination is the capital of the reach. Then they hear this war is happening in the Western Kingdom. War has started already. And there's um, an army marching towards the capital of the Eastern Kingdom. What the PCs didn't know or till up this point is that the caravan secretly transported the evil artifact to the town. The evil artifact is given to the Lord. Who's this Lord? You will see. While doing this, an accident occurred in the warehouse. The dead caravan leader, so the old master and friend perhaps, is found. He was killed because he had information about it. And the daughter will approach the PCs to investigate. So another adventure. Like in a capital city, thieving guilds, investigation, mystery. So there and they learn something again which will lead to something else so they learn something about um, this artifact that something of high magical value that the caravan secretly brought to the capital and there are always questions and okay why who did this what is there going on who was this person um, um, which we learned um, that this was given to. So, but now the situation outside is drastically um, changing, and um, it's clear that a war has arisen. Uh, I don't know um, that the capital will be under siege soon, and. Um, that the good religion is blamed for the situation that the war started. One of the lords suggests the king to use a hidden artifact to overcome the enemy. So um, the king with his lords in gather together and decide what to do in this situation. So there seems to be no way um, to prevent the siege. They were overrun basically because all the years before was peace, they were not prepared. So when this lord is in Rio, the, yeah, one of the main enemies, because um, he is in secret a member of this evil religion, and he wants the king to use um, this artifact and bound to this artifact is some demonic evil power that only the king is able to release somehow i don't know exactly how this works but i think it's a great idea So if he will do this, the king will be killed. And he and all the lords have one sworn to the crown will arise as death knights under the command of this artifact. And at the end, under the command of these, this evil church or religion. So this is where we left off. Um, secrets that can be unrevealed the NPCs some informations and the factions okay now let me think through and just um, spark imaginations now in the moment and randomly write some things down that come in mind so I think about the plot, I have I think nothing I can add there, 
Just give me a second. I want the music in the background a little bit louder. So, 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 let me think. The plot seems to work right now. So the basic idea is, as I said, find some new things to it, improve it a little bit, and already think about how much content one of the scenes can deliver. So how many evenings I have to prepare in more detail and this with a minimal um, kind of effort so plot done intro great idea <laughs> not um, new idea I think this is a really basic or um, known idea escorting a caravan or I don't know the, the other stuff helping um, the landlord um, uh, with a problem in the keller with rats or something like this <laughs> uh, good old classics but um, if you decorate them somehow nicely with interesting NPCs it should work all the time So, the start. Let me think through it. They come there, they uh, a few days there. Um, perhaps they were attacked through a mountain range and they are stopping there to buy some new horses or mules and then this kicks off okay I just start to write down um, I will do it though so. I subdivide this and I put this random ideas down there below so To start with, a good idea is uh, with action. So, traveling mountain pass. Tagged by what list there? What can most cool monster can there be? Manticore. Oh, cool idea. Right? You know what a Manticore is, I think. This is a um, lion with a human face of a man and a scorpion tail with wings. And um, yeah, I think this is a good idea. Um, then reach small town caravan leader caravan needs new horses or mules and supplies right so so then The next is what uh, we wrote there already. So um, uh, 
fragrance attack near by monastery PCs can join militia to support them so okay let's see here perhaps this is evening one or oh, let's say session one just an encounter and traveling reaching something and then stopping there going okay oh, we made it and uh, what's going on in this town i think it's basically a cool idea so i don't stress it out and put too much in uh, just a little bit less content there yeah so yeah to support them Session zero, right? Um, I just think how I structure this because uh, I don't want to write redundant. Um, bop, 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 bop. Okay, I wrote it down. And then I just um, yeah um, as start. So as I wrote that there, yeah, under start, right? Of course, this will get even better with structuring and uh, it can show you some tools that are used to export it as a PDF or HTML that you just can watch from any device if you play on a con or uh, have easy access to all your notes perhaps a different video what I used there so any idea Okay, so what I um, have to be clear about now, this soldiers, mm, did they wear with the arms of coat from the Eastern Kingdom? So in the Eastern Kingdom is this false lord and he is a member of this evil religion and he wants or this evil religion wants to start a false war between these two and blame the good religion for it so this is the basic idea so Farkus, this vermin soldiers more brigands okay i write this down and i think Svernt soldiers. Okay, we will see in the next scene. Perhaps uh, they were just brigands. Because, of course, such, such an action would not... Um, You cannot wear your arm of coats if you secretly secretly want to attack something and do some stuff like this. So I think that's okay. So let's continue. 
Destination Capital Eastern Kingdom Road Encounters. Okay, let's see. Some idea. Session three perhaps. Two. So road encounter. For now I think at the moment I have to um ask my dice. So just give me a second. I switch back to this table. So What does the mythic game emulator say to me? So just use the words and try to f a failure. 70, okay. A failure extravagance, okay. something uh, just a spontaneous idea what can happen a failure extravagance um, let's say um, the second in command of the caravan made a mistake Calculating or investing in the rations. Mistake. Mm, not a mistake. So I want to um, uh, just perhaps something was planned for the travel, and this does not go as expected. And I think what could can this be? So the second in command of the caravan made a mistake. If he bought less rations or food. I think he, he would never made it as a second in command for a caravan, caravan of this size. So um, no, we do with other. So I have an idea. So then the early winter strikes hard. Already hard, so I don't know if this is exactly um, correct from how I um, write it, but uh, I think you know what I mean. The, the early winter strikes already hard, harsh. Um, the attempt to take the next mountain pass fails uh, 
have to change root. To a near to a city. So, okay. Have some cool idea there. They have to stay. over the winter. So, and this gives us enough time for this idea. Um, we um, came up with the last time. So one thing I put in here Face, perhaps here this information. I don't know, snow trolls, ice trolls. Right, so I don't know what they are exactly. Yeah, it's cool. Ice trolls, nice. So. So what is going on there? Then they come again here in the city. Session three. A winter. Uh, a winter in a city. So what can happen there? These have some free time. These have free time. Play adventure. Seven. Um, play adventure. So then we just play this adventure from the other scene we had basically here already. So a merchant is accused for trading military weapons. They can get him out of prison and learn that the name of the letter is the same name as a priest here in town. Okay, this is perhaps some side information, right? This merchant tells that the priest gave him the crate with weapons and armors and paper. They attack them, okay. Go to the city. Okay, 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 okay. This works. This basically works. I think can be a cool adventure over a winter in a city, in a smaller city, where they have to help this merchant.
they know that he organized weapons and armors in order of this priest here in town from this good religion, right? Okay. Then they travel on. What they hear right now, this is important for the overall frame, so to say, PCs here, that at the border, a war has started. Western, Eastern, so now they reach the capital. They pass this last mountain range after the next winter. The land becomes more flat. Forests. Some hills at the beginning. Till they reach the long road that comes from the south. And they eventually, someday, late spring, arrive the capital of the Eastern Kingdom. Okay, let's see what's there going on. Version 4. Of course you can play always something on the road. Why not? I like the idea that for the travel I roll some idea from this table. So let me see. 88 and 51. Jealousy. So the second word. Control jealousy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can come with stuff later that you uh, with things that you want to fill in there. So let me see. I would just now concentrate about the capital. If they come into the capital, um, do I need to? Ah, yeah, uh, this is a, so it's about uh, the death of the caravan master. Um, how did I wrote him down? The caravan master, let caravan master. Um, Okay, S, capital, <laughs> K, 
capital. So basically an adventure. How about what happened there? So the caravan miner was killed. Why was he killed? Because he had information about it. And Perhaps it looked like an accident, I don't know exactly, or um, some other fraction, or I don't know, a merchant, um, what is known in the public that he has a problem with, perhaps. Um, is um, thought that he is... Um, had done this to the caravan master but basically the idea is um, to investigate that the daughter of the caravan master approaches the PCs and tells something um, tells about what happened and um, hires the PCs and she perhaps she, uh, she says something um, ah, I have idea. the daughter says that the father said the night before his death that he never had that he never had that it was a mistake that it was a mistake to make business with him. I put this in quotations marks and I think you can already know what he is. This is the false lord I will And this is, of course, not something that the daughter, um, that the father said to his daughter, as is said, that he, she heard his father say. before his death, that it was a mistake to make business with him. So, cool idea. I would say this can be... Huh. Two okay. adventures perhaps. So some elements I want to put there. Paving guild. Sewers. Um, corrupt wizard. And then... Name of the Lord. So, 
So in the capital, during this time when war arises and um, situations are, are changing in this kingdom, they have to deal with the murder of their old master. They learn that, that they secretly, that he secretly in this caravan, transported something of high magical value. And there's an adventure with a thieving guild, with Thuas, with a corrupt wizard. And finally, okay, perhaps they don't know that this is a lord, or we will see it. So now, party is at its peak, <laughs> and um, session seven. PCs have to deal with. this information and have to face the Lord and prevent his plan execution. Deal with the false lord and prevent this plan. So of course it needs some more informations. Make final battle in the throne room. It would be cool, right? Have you no siege? One of the lots, are okay. Now, this how is this king consumed by this crown? If we do the king. turn into Darth Knight and he and all the lords of the will rise under the command of the evil demonic artifact demonic artifact okay I think it's getting a little bit more clear what's about if he will do the king will turn into a death knight by the artifact he and all Lords who have sworn to the crown will arise death knights under the command of the demonic artifact. So, 
Okay. I think we have a little bit more information now. Um, let me see what the sessions one, two. So let's not count zero. Six. So perhaps ten sessions. And um, yes, for now we can take a break. And in part three, I will work on these details a little bit more. I will do this only here. Uh, so no, um, there's no, nothing changed or stuff like this. Um, and we will see where we perhaps next time can give great names, flesh out the PCs a little bit more, some plot elements like the artifact, um, why this one's, um, why, the, uh, why this artifact has the power to use this, um, this way, I think, um, to bring this death knights. So, and perhaps another working title, Force War, the, the Evil Crown, the Mother, I don't know, we will see. But for now, it's, for me, it's a little bit more clear now. It's consistent with the theme, with the war theme, the artifact, and a little bit more structure now how this can play out. Okay, thank you if you made it so long and um, see you the next time. Bye.